we've talked a lot about Jason Verrett. Mm-hmm. Uh, hell of a player. They should re-sign him. But like a, a dark horse topic right now is Akella Witherspoon because he's, his game was like almost just as good as Verrett's. And he's younger. He's bigger. What do you make of his little career resurgence? So for me, it was more impressive. I expected that from Jason Verrett. I did not expect that from Akella Witherspoon two games in a row. I think when Akella Witherspoon after the Miami game, that entire Brian Allen situation, we did like a two-minute topic on it. And we both agreed he's done. Like, I don't see his confidence coming back. He's shaken. This was a bad look. They're about to deactivate him. All these things. The defense's version of Pettis. Right. Didn't, but he's not. This is but really special. This yes. is really special. This tells you that if you're the 49ers, I say you have you re-sign Akella Witherspoon because you got to give him one more chance because you got to believe that there's something special in this guy where he was able to bounce back from that and come back for a guy whose biggest question is how mentally fragile he is. And number two, I think what they're doing on defense now suits him a little more. Yeah. They're playing a bit more two-man and they're playing a little more press and letting him get hands on receivers and stuff. And that suits his game because he's maybe the most physically talented corner on the 49ers. I don't think he can play the press bail cover three that they were having, trying to groom him to play as the next Richard Sherman. I think he gets lost a little bit in zone coverage and finding the ball and all that. It's not what he did at Colorado. But he's really good at playing through the man when in man, and he's pretty sticky. And I think if they can play like this and play with this similar style, I think – if they can, it can really be something. Yeah, absolutely. I think really the question with him is, would he want to come back? Uh, I've heard some rumblings, basically from Leo Luna, who works for my site and is very close with Jamar Taylor. And I'm not trying to say Jamar Taylor's leaking information, but Leo is like adamant, like he's not going back to the Niners. It's not going to happen. And it's not that the Niners don't want him. So maybe he's like, you know, thank you very much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to go back on the field. I, I we would, we, it's a mutual separation t- now. Now. That'd be too bad. He might want to follow Robert Sala, or maybe he really wants a new start somewhere else. I can't speculate. But I mean, he's interested. Yeah, well, they should send like send him like a, a fruit basket, like an edible arrangement, and be like, Akello, we're sorry. Hang around. We'd like to keep you. And then the other thing that's been impressive is the tackling. Have you ever seen Akello Witherspoon just throw his body around like this? How many tackles did he make in front of the sticks in this last game? Two? Three? And how many were physical where he put his body and hit the the guy? guy It wasn't – he tackled – it's not that he tackled the guy. He hit the guy first. Right. It's not like he was, like, hanging on for dear life. He knocked the guy back. Yeah. No. uh, Yeah. Akello, I've been very impressed. And, you know – I've never actually been the biggest Akello Witherspoon fan, but this resurgence, I'm definitely like going to be cheering for Akello Witherspoon for a while, just because I I just think that it requires a lot to be totally written off by everybody, deactivated by your team, and come back in three relatively meaningless games and play like this. Hats off to him. Hats off to him with a caveat. If I were a team, I don't know if I would offer him more than a one-year deal, Vish. No, I wouldn't. A one-year deal, dude, I would love that. And I might even give him – Three million dollars or four, if I, I had if I had the cap space, but a three year deal, I'd like to keep. I'd like him to. I think he's in this kind of contract year mode, and I think it's good for him. He needs to. He's still a young man. He needs to develop this type of grind and mentality and keep it going for a long period of time. Like two games at the end of the year isn't enough for, to, right. for, for me to offer him a, a multi year right. deal. Right. And you know, even for the Niners, too, because we've seen two to three game spurts from Akella Witherspoon before. But I think right. it is worth looking at because he did bounce back and because he is talented and talented people always deserve second chances. And Akella Witherspoon does still have the talent to be a top flight NFL corner. He he no not many six two one ninety five 195 guys move with the level of fluidity that he moves with. He's bigger than that. He's I, I, he's a really tall dude. He's at least six three. And he, I really like him. He's always been really nice. He knows he takes a lot of criticism. He knows who he takes it from. And he's very mature and doesn't hold it against you and polite. And it's clear that he has really nice parents. And I really like him. I hope his uh, Yeah, I mean, really I thought like even, his, even his post-game interview was just pure class. He was humble. Yes. It was down to earth. It was friendly. It was kind. I mean, this is a guy who been written off by the media, written off by the team, hasn't really talked to anybody in time. And he didn't come out there like and give him a still here and anything like that. Well, remember what he, Pettis said in training camp? Like he had this yeah. thing he wanted to say and 
It's like you was going to save it, and now we're never going to be able to hear it. I'm so sad and about Keller that. Keller was basically like, you know what? That's water under the bridge. I'm focused on my craft. I'm I'm blessed to be here. Let's go. And I thought, like, wow, I just that's hard. Yeah, it was what a mature was, guy. Yeah, he's probably 24. I would imagine he's still pretty young. I don't know how old he is, but he's probably pretty yeah. young still. Anyway, and he's also from Sacramento. So shout out a, a local kid, Ross Dwelly, also from Sacramento. People don't remember this.